The Burj Khalifa looks impossible because it pushed engineering to the edge, taller, lighter and stronger than anything before it. But, it wasn't magic. It was brilliant structural design and material science. Here's a deep dive, seven engineering moves that made it possible. First, the buttressed core. Problem, a normal skyscraper frame would buckle or sway at 830 meters. Solution, Bill Baker designed the buttressed core, a hexagonal core with three wings like a Y. The core houses elevators, stairwells and services making it extremely stiff. The wings act as buttresses, propping the core from three sides. The Y shape reduces wind forces because there's no flat face for wind to push against. The tower tapers irregularly, no two floors are exactly the same. That prevents wind vortices from locking on and shaking the building. Engineers ran over 40 wind tunnel tests, rotating the model to test every wind direction. The tower flexes instead of fighting the wind, about 1.5 meters of sway at the top. 40 wind tests, minimal sway. Normal concrete would dry too fast and crack in Dubai's heat. Engineers developed high-performance concrete, about 80 megapascals, with additives to slow curing. They pumped concrete over 600 meters, a world record then, with cooled pipelines and massive pumps. Special additives reduced heat buildup, 80 megapascals concrete, 600 meters pumped. Core first, a self-climbing formwork system climbed the tower without cranes. High-speed jump lifts moved up as the building grew, saving huge time. During peak construction each floor took just three to four days, efficient sequencing kept progress relentless. Next, the foundation. Dubai has soft soil and weak rock, a settlement risk. Engineers drilled 192 reinforced concrete piles, each 50 meters deep. They capped them with a 3.7-meter-thick raft slab to spread the load evenly. That prevents uneven settlement and keeps the tower stable. 192 piles, 50 meters deep, Water is staged, pumped to mid-level tanks, then repumped up in steps. Elevators are double-deck and run at about 10 meters per second, no single elevator runs full height. Maintenance uses telescoping spires and hidden tracks for window rigs in the crown. Pumps, staged tanks, clever elevators and hidden maintenance systems. Over 12,000 workers from 100-plus countries coordinated daily. Laser surveying track tilt and twist, adjustments were made in real time. Key takeaway, they reinvented how skyscrapers stand up, fight wind, and are built. Not a taller version of the past, a whole new approach in structure, materials, and construction, 830 meters of steel, concrete, and pure innovation. Like this deep dive? Subscribe for more engineering breakdowns.